Well, thank you. You said a lot of things that are that is true, and also most of them has to be uh, real or the state level, especially with the health issues. I believe the 15th city council, even though they represent the only the world, just got to come up point where they got to work together. Not only for the wards, not only for the east side, not only for the area that's next to North Providence, not only for the area that's next to Christ, but to have a vision to look at the city as a whole. Because whatever problem we have in Ward 8, sooner or later, is going to deviate into other wards. Whatever goods come out of Ward 8, is going to deviate into other wards. So, I believe they should work more closely. And after this election, I'm sure that all of us are sitting at the table, like I said before, we all want the best for, this, for the city. That's why we're going through, running for office and going through all this. And uh, you say education, definitely. One thing that I could say about the city council, I work at the state house. We cover uh, all the Senate and uh, House hearings. Before any bills get approved, they got to go to committee. And there's a lack of city leaders at the state house advocating for Providence. Providence needs to get its fair share of education. The students that are in Providence, they have more needs than students in other parts of the, of the state. Because we have more people that need ESL, we have more people that need a special, a special education, and that's not being taken, taken care of. We need good teachers, we need to get our fair share of the education, which, as a matter of fact, I think, it's, uh, I think that's going to be running now, uh, next year, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you.